we are we are exalted essentially you 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 as an individual are the most important person that has ever walked in the universe has, that, has anyone ever told you that or have you ever thought about that of yourself because i know i never did all i thought about myself was that i'm fat i'm english i'm bored i'm depressed um <laughs> I could find thousands and thousands of books that, that proved all of these things. Um, thousands and thousands of books that offered solutions to, to modify all of this negativity. Thousands of reasons why I felt like that, usually to do with my parents. And so I embarked on a lifelong project to try and modify all of these descriptive frameworks that I had about myself, the last thing in my mind was that I was exalted and perfect. And uh, what happened, I, couldn't, I could not modify any of this stuff. I, I got more, I got fatter, more depressed, more English. <laughs> um, and so I started to look, you know, I'm desperate. I, I, I just want to feel okay. And I cannot feel okay. And so, I remember one day I opened a particular book and it said, well, you know, it's not just this life. You've maybe got a thousand, ten thousand, a million lives you need to sort out. <laughs> and I, I just like, <clears throat> I, th I just shut the book and I just sat down and I just thought, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fucked, I'm just fucked. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just, uh, and so, and, and, and that, was actually, that was actually very powerful because I thought, well, you know, this is just a waste of time. It's a waste of time. I'm stuck with what I am. I didn't like what I was. Um, and everything I tried f since about the age of 17 to m sort of my mid-30s did not provide me with what I was looking for. And I tried everything, conventional and unconventional, in order to experience relief. Because I believed I was flawed everyone else was flawed, the world was flawed, and, uh, and the only way to sort out this circumstance was to change all of the appearances. And it was impossible. So I, I, I was dragged unwillingly to my first Great Freedom meeting, it was Great Freedom then, uh, Balanced View, in Rishikesh in India seven years ago, and I th it was the, the worst possible experience of my life, virtually. <laughs> that everyone was smiling, you know, everyone was, was, was nice to me. And um, it, it just really highlighted how miserable I was, basically. And, uh, and, uh, and, and I sat at the back and I, I, I was really ready for a big argument about <laughs> How, how this training is a waste of time and it's just the same as everything else and how dare you tell me that I'm perfect, I'm not perfect and blah 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 and uh, I was just, I, 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 I said, what, uh, my first question I think was something like um, nothing's ever worked ever in my life so why should short moments work? <laughs> and uh, and, I, and I, I was expecting you know some, some really big <laughs> big juicy argument, I had all of my philosophy and training all lined up like missiles ready to, <laughs> ready to, ready to go and Candice just said, oh, she said, oh that's fine, if you don't want to do short moments don't bother, just keep showing up and I, I was just like, <laughs> like, I, like uh, I didn't have, there was no, there was no way to, uh, to, to, uh, to combat such a skillful empowerment, it was, it's, it's up to me, you know, and I thought well okay I can do that, I can just show up I didn't want to show up, you know, I, did, it, I, I didn't want to come, but I did. I kept coming back and just sitting there listening and I was furious. I didn't like people share, what they were sharing and, you know, everything about the whole thing brought up so much negativity for me. But j gradually I started to recognize what was being described in this training. I didn't understand it. You know, seven years, I still don't know what a short moment is, so just relax. I mean, if that's your experience, it's fine. Because, because what, what, what's happening here is we're just recognizing the nature of reality. The, 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 the nature of reality doesn't change because I eat raw food and do handstands all day long or headstands. Or it doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't change because I'm able to sit still for 10 hours a day and empty my head of thinking. 
and it doesn't sit still and it doesn't change when um, sorry it doesn't it, the, the nature of reality doesn't change just because I, I start to recognize it all that happens is I, I recognize the nature of reality and the nature of reality is is that there is just an expanse of all-consuming white-hot love blazing everywhere all at once <laughs> now, now I, I'm, 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 I'm an English man, I don't like talking about love I'm not a hippie I, I asked at the store yesterday for some hippie repellent like, you know, like mosquito <laughs> repellent but they don't have any unfortunately so for me, I'm much, I'm much more comfortable talking about soccer, which I love, football, um, and, um, you know, cars and things like that. Uh, and for me to talk about all-consuming, white-hot love is, is not natural. But you see, and, it, and, and, and if we were to talk about these things, th there wouldn't be a hundred people in this meeting. Be, there would be ma probably four hippies sitting here <laughs> listening to me talk about love. And so, and so this is why it's so powerful. This training is, is practical. It, it's not about you changing anything about your life. It's about you simply recognizing the nature of reality. And the support structures of Balance View are there just to support you. How, you know, how, well, however it is for you. Some people find it difficult in the beginning. Some people don't like it and feel threatened by it. Some people just jump in headlong. It, it just really doesn't matter. Basically, what's, what, what's occurred is you've, you've had a lifetime of training yourself to believe in a set of descriptions that you've learned from someone else about yourself. You are not perfect. You need to fix yourself. And everything about your life is evidence that you are not perfect. Now, in this training, you're introduced to something that turns everything on its head. You are perfect. And everything about your life is evidence of that perfection. Depression, anxiety, panic attacks, boredom, Th these were my friends or, or enemies for my entire life and I believed that I needed to get rid of these things in order to feel okay and I could not do it. These, these things were evidence of my imperfection. And that, that is not true. It's not true. These, th these things are what it means to be a human being. And so you can just relax. I mean, I'm sure all of everyone in this room knows these, 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 these uh, data streams, these emotions. So the practice in balance view, like we heard, is to simply just get, get, get used to allowing everything that occurs to just be. Even if you're trying to, to, to change your experience, you can't change everything as it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest joke ever. We can do we can do like a little little experiment. I, I do this sometimes. So this side of the room, you you have a, think of a big red tomato, okay, massive red tomato, all shiny and perfect. And this side of the room is the orange carrot side, big orange carrot, okay. You absolutely must not allow the red tomato into your into your mind and you absolutely must not allow the carrot into your mind so you're the red tomatoes you're the orange carrots how and how long can you just have that that one thing in your mind stream so okay you, are you ready we we just go uh, so you're what are you carrot tomato <laughs> So, so we, we go for it, okay, to, okay, just think of your vegetable and nothing else is allowed to intrude, go. Um, and what happens, it's like carrot, tomato, carrot, tomato, like, like uh, and then, and then it, you might feel sensations in your, in your body and, and all of this stuff and, and so the, the, the evidence of the nature of reality, this spontaneous, magnificent, blazing display that we've labelled, you know, in such a disempowering way for our entire lives. It's so clear and obvious. You know, it's so dynamic, it's so expressive, it allows for everything without prejudice. There's no, there's no thought, there's no forethought, there's no afterthought. You've got no idea what the next thought's going to be. You've got no idea what the next circumstance is going to be. Yet, we as human beings believe that somehow we need to control this magnificent display. And that's what we try to do, and we find that we cannot do it. And even if you are able to control this display, isn't it really boring? Isn't it boring to be happy all the time? You know, when you're really satisfied, when your partner does everything for you, you know, your relationship's wonderful, 
I mean, I remember some of my intimate relationships when I had the most beautiful partners that do everything for me, being being really annoyed that they just produced, hi, I've made you this beautiful meal. And I just like beside myself with fury, I don't want to eat now. Why did you make this for me? <laughs> you know, like storming out of the room. Just like, um, like really, really awful behaviour. And especially with regards to my parents, I remember my, my father once said to me, uh, oh, your tea's ready, and I, I said, get out of my room, how dare you come into my room. I was 17, you don't, you know, you don't understand me, get out, how, you, leave me alone, I want privacy, I don't want your stupid fucking meal, probably. And do you know what he said to me? He said to me, my brother died an hour ago, and, and I was just about to say, how dare you? use that against me you're, 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 and, 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 and I, in my head I thought it, it snapped I said Adrian you, you're, you're a retard you, you are so disrespectful so so selfish this brings tears to my eyes and that, that was a, a revelation for me to see just how selfish and, and, and just how what, what an imbecile the conventional approach to life creates when, when you're so, so self-obsessed that you, all you see is, is just violence, negativity, perversion everywhere. And that, that really was the beginning of, 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 of a, a new approach to, to, um, to living, really, to see just how selfish I'd been. And it wasn't until I came to this training that I was given the tools to be able to act in a responsible adult way. I was 40 years old the first time I wrote to my father and said thank you. Forty years old. Up until that point I'd been a five-year-old child for the entirety of my life. And I find that totally soul-destroying. But now I'm not prepared to live that way anymore. And uh, my father is my best friend. You know, I, just, I, I listen to his golf stories and they used to drive me crazy and I love listening to them. <laughs> I want to know about his golf stories. And uh, my life's changed so, so, I mean, so amazingly. Everything I thought about my life that was, was a cause for concern and a problem is, is, is a cause for exaltation and magnificence. It's the most remarkable, remarkable turnaround. And so this is what's on offer here. So if you're quite new and you're testing out the four mainstays, which is the support structure of Balanced View, it's very normal to have thoughts about what am I actually doing? I, I, aren't I replacing everything? Yeah, damn right you're replacing. You're replacing misery with complete wonderfulness. <laughs> and so who, give, who gives a monkeys about what's going on? It doesn't matter how you describe it. The, 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 you test what's, what's, what's on offer here. It's down to you to test it and to see in your own experience if you like it or not. So that's, that's, that's all that's going on here. It's not down to me, it's down to you. And, and, and the structures of balanced view are there to support you and they're so simple to implement and I just wanted to say something about sexual desire because I, I, I really believe that my, in my 12 empowerments I want more sex was one of the big things I had probably on my, on my, on my list and, and, and everything about my life was trying to have sex with anything that moved virtually <laughs> and, uh, and all of the strategies in my life, try, you know, trying to be in film and music was just, just trying to get into girls' pants, that's what I wanted to do and, um, and, and I, sometimes I was successful and sometimes I wasn't but what, ha what happened when I, you know, it, when I was actually having sex I wanted it to last a long time and I, 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 you know, and, and I was thinking about you know, is this good enough and um, well, well, we still be going out together in a month and is this the last time we're going to have sex? And then guess what? This is the most ridiculous thing. My friend told me that a great way to prolong sex is to think about something that's really complicated. <laughs> and so he recommended that, um, I, was, I was a cycle courier at the time, so he said, think about dismantling your de derailleur gears, <laughs> taking them apart and, and, uh, and then cleaning them and putting them back together again whilst you're having sex and this this will you know this will be the solution to not being able to have sex and you know be, not for it not lasting I mean th that that isn't very erotic is it <laughs> thinking about fixing a bicycle while you're having sex I mean and um, so so you know even even the act of having sex I, I just was not there 
I was just, I was just thinking, thinking, describing. Um, you know, and that's not to say, of course, I had some beautiful experiences, but most of the time it was, it was really quite strange and quite an effort. And now, since I've met this training, what's occurred is that ridiculous drive or belief system that I need to have sex all of the time has vanished. And one of the most powerful instructions I got um, from my trainer was just to uh, rely on um, open intelligence with all of the sexual desire before, during, after, and start to recognize that when great sexual desire comes up, that great energy of sexual desire is my true nature. That is the nature of reality. Now we've just learned that in order for sexual desire to be successful, we need to have an orgasm. But when you leave that alone, when you just rely on short moments, what you start to see is basically everything is a perpetual orgasm. The whole universe is, is basically having sex with itself. <laughs> you know, like th 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 these flowers, everything, everything is like a climax. It just appears, it's amazing, and then it relaxes again. Everything. Anyone still thinking about carrot or tomato? <laughs> you see? It's gone. It's just gone. And so... So what, what we're doing here is just tapping into a complete natural way of being. Completely natural way of being, completely potent, completely relaxed. And it does take a little bit of getting used to. It does take a little bit of commitment. And however that is for you, is fine. You know, it, some people, they get it straight away. Others, they just take more convincing and a bit more time. But just be gentle with yourself. You've been in a boot camp for your entire, entire life telling yourself and everyone else that you're not perfect and the world is not perfect and that you need to change in order to be just even okay and that isn't the case so for most people here that's that's decades of beating yourself up decades of describing yourself in a particular way so it's going to take time and it's not surprising that negativity is going to come up intellectual analysis is going to come up because that's how you've tried to understand and approach life for the entirety of your life. And so again, this is the importance of the Four Mainstays. We, we, we only share our own experience of, of relying on the support structure. That's all we do. But I mean, I cannot tell you how amazing my life is now. And nothing's changed. I have the same friends, the same family, the same sensations. You know, I'm getting older. So the physical pain is not going to get better, it's going to get worse. And so what we're doing here is identifying something in our experience that provides us with relief. And the relief is inseparable from the data, so relief as physical pain, relief as depression, relief as feeling fearful when you're doing service. It's the inseparability of data and open intelligence that we're, we're recognizing. Like reflections in a mirror are inseparable, that's what we're recognizing. 